Hi guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on uh, Medium, YouTube, and uh, also at DanielRoseville.tech. So what what I'm doing now is the uh, continuation of my uh, adventure in uh, in backing up my Linux computer onto this new Synology NAS. That's Synology D920. Um, let me just check that. Synology DS920 Plus, I believe which I received a few days ago from uh, Synology. It's a network attached storage. And uh, so far, this is actually uh, something I wrote, I believe, here coming up in Google. Um, and basically what I'm doing at the moment is just exploring the various and documenting. I'll be writing a few articles about this, how to back up uh, my Linux desktop onto Synology. So this is my GitHub repository that I keep mentioning, but uh, I have documented my master backup strategy. And what I'm doing essentially, this was before I got this NAS, and it was kind of always something I thought about getting uh, local servers in the schematic here. And kind of now, at the, up to now, I've just been adding a few extra uh, internal drives into my computer, specifically I2 actually. One for TimeShift. TimeShift is a differential backup tool here, actually, not incremental, that uh, um, uses rsync and it just takes, uh, you know, internal. Uh, snapshots so it's a nice nice little tool you can roll back easily um, unfortunately it doesn't support network uh, backing up onto, onto a network storage device so uh, I do not believe uh, unless there's a worker and they haven't figured out that there's a way to do this directly onto the NAS itself um, but in any event I kind of think it makes more sense to have that guy internal um, but just explore the options I use GR sync which could be uh, it's that was my last video and GR sync could be used for a similar purpose you could create a few different folders um, you could find a more I'm sure you could find a more sophisticated front end to R sync uh, that would allow you to do what time shift does onto a network device on your local network and what time shift does well is that it takes a few snapshots so you have a choice if something goes wrong with your system and you need to find a restore point you don't just have a backup you have three or four different snapshots um, and those snapshots are differential backups and you can just choose which differential to pull from in the restore. Um, so that's GR sync as I showed in my last video and it worked well and I have that onto a share. Um, now the next thing I want to do is go do a clonezilla job on my desktop directly onto my uh, new NAS. Now unfortunately I was not successful in attempt number one which I can't say is, entire, is entirely surprising. Uh, there were... I, Clonezilla over SSH and NES is something I have not attempted before. And uh, although I had the IP address and the username and the password, and as I mentioned, uh, there are just a couple of prerequisites just to be aware of quickly, which I will point, point out um, in order to get this running. I did have these set up, so I'm, to be honest, I'm not sure, but I will, I'll work on troubleshooting that tomorrow. If you're going to be doing a um, SS, SSH, it's not enabled by default. So go into your control panel, and this is this is called DSM. This thing I'm in here, it's basically a uh, this is the Synology uh, IP address port 5000. is open to serve this, and it's like a little embedded uh, web server that's you know throwing up a operating system basically. So it's quite cool. Um, it's persistent. Uh, it saves on the NAS. So if I, you know, it's like a real uh, local OS. If I delete icons on this desktop, they'll be deleted if I restart the NAS. Um, and the resolution, I guess, because it's being served uh, locally, uh, is actually, you know, pretty much the same as if I was actually looking at my desktop in the other window. So um, it's quite cool. Uh, I'm very, very impressed so far with technology. I must say. Uh, I've got it for just for backups, and uh, um, as you can see, I've got a number of uh, cloud sync jobs running here, and I'm moving just a lot of data between B2 and S3 and Google Drives and whatever, creating syncs to a share on this network, and uh, that's great. So it means I don't need. To, I'm not going to have to bother playing around with FileZilla Pro anymore and all these awkward utilities to move stuff. Uh, back stuff up to the cloud I can just save stuff onto various network shares and the syncing will happen on the NES instead of on my desktop computer so there you go another six files up to the cloud you need to also by the way before you uh, before you enable SSH and 
I didn't actually show that. You need to go all the way down to terminal, and uh, there you go. The first one, enable SSH service. I was surprised to see this was not ticked um, by default, and the default port setting is, of course, 22. So you just need to enable that before you, you can SSH into your machine. Um, so that's really, that's basically, oh, and you need to enable your user home directory. Uh, I had to do that anyway in order to get the SSH to work. So now with that introduction out of the way, I'm gonna, this is what Synology says about how to back up Linux computer to your Synology NAS. Um, they have this info about configuring it as the destination server. I actually, for some reason, that is not clear. Maybe this is a different version of DSM. Uh, I was able to to set the privileges on my shared folder, but I didn't have this backup services uh, thing in uh, in control panel. I did search for it uh, high and low. I couldn't find it, so maybe they've updated this. Maybe there's different versions. To be honest, I'm not really sure. But in any event, uh, I did set up rsync and SSH, so I think I should be good to go. Now, we looked at the G, uh, G rsync the last time, and this time we're just going to be using plain old uh, plain old rsync I'm removing this uh, clonezilla backup from my desktop uh, today onto uh, cloudberry and uh, we're gonna then be doing it we're gonna just be doing one uh, a direct one in time so you know what I'm actually gonna create in order to distinguish between um, clonezilla which I want to be directly from my desktop to the NAS and this is going to be a uh, this is going to be a uh, clonezilla that's going to be a copy of what's on my desktop already. So we're going to just call this one to distinguish it. Clonezilla copy, copy of uh, clonezilla images saved on desktop. Uh, beautiful. We're not we're going to skip encryption and uh, apply that. So I already have read read write permission on this new shared volume I've created and it's called clonezilla copy. So um, that's important. So we're just going to dock it for a second. And this this is beautiful. Look at this. It really does work like a desktop. And look at the speed and the resolution. It's fantastic. You even got a systems monitor, and I can see all this traffic is related to um, the cloud sync activity that's currently uh, currently going on. Um, so now that we've created that bucket, I'm ready to SSH into this machine. And I'm just going to do what they recommend. The, this command is really simple, rsync minus av. Now, um, I'm not going to spend time making sure that I have the operators 100% perfect, uh, you know, to make sure that this rsync, uh, that what I'm using rsync to copy over is, uh, is going to be restorable, because that's the ultimate goal in this case. I'm copying over the clonezilla backup images. Um, I'm just going to go with this guy just for the purpose of getting this first one done and see if it works and then if it does we can look into that further. Um, and I'm creating a few excess shares, I'm duplicating the clonezilla backup by doing it two ways and that's fine. The whole, I think the whole beauty of uh, filling up your NES with a bunch of storage is you can afford to kind of um, waste a few, you know, a few hundred gigabytes here or there. Just to just to try out various things and see what works for you. So um, it's rsync minus av the folder, then your uh, SSH credentials. That's going to be my username for the NAS and the IP address. And then look at this. It's two colons, not one. I don't know, but I I feel like I've seen one more frequently than two. Uh, but it is indeed two. And then this is your bucket name. Sorry, your share name and then you can uh, specify a path within the share. So that's the syntax. I'm just gonna clear this out and uh, I will be uh, copying now. Okay, uh, so this is basically where my clonezilla image lives and if I do an ls, uh, I can see home desktop backup and if we uh, just take a look inside, we can see this is what a clonezilla backup actually looks like. You can see these are the SDA1 is the partition and these running from SDA A, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 different chunks and uh, a few different things. I don't pretend to know everything that's in it, but that's what the um, that's what the image actually looks like on the inside. So um, let's just capture it at the folder level. So recurse, recurse one level and we're going to just do R as instructed, R sync 
minus AV um, home desktop beautiful and we're pushing this to my login at uh, 192.168.07 um, two colons and then we're just oh uh, sorry then the um, then the share name which is going to be clonezilla copy um, and then we can just leave a, uh, a forward slash I think so let's just run this and see if it goes um, make sure you have V that's the verbosity operator so you can see how it goes I'm just gonna run that gonna ask for my password which I will dutifully provide and that failed uh, I forgot to put in a sudo so you're gonna need to run for if you're doing clonezilla it needs to be done with elevated permissions uh, password again and success so we can see it's now um, sending the incremental file list which is the first stage of this uh, backup um, the first stage of the rsync job and then it kind of speeds up very quickly so if we go in here and we go into our file station and our um, clonezilla copy we can see there we go it's already started to uh, send over transmit the very lightweight stuff the text files and uh, judging by the time as well, it is indeed currently uh, 2.30 a.m. in the morning approximately, my local time, um, and these timestamps are the creation. So I'm just checking that to make sure that the, it's being created as, as expected. So that's basically it. That is using, um, that is using rsync uh, in order to, and actually, sorry, these are, these are I believe, uh, possibly from, no, we just created it. These are indeed being synced over. Um, so yeah, it's 2.34 a.m. So uh, that's it basically. That's how they use rsync and you can just get a copy of Clonezilla image from uh, wherever it's sitting on your computer. Could be on your, you know, on your actually laptop or whatever. And just using rsync to, uh, to, to sync that over to the uh, NAS and, uh, and store a copy of that backup over there. Thanks for watching. Any questions, the website is danielroso.co.il Let's not wait. Have a great day.